Okay, kids, I'm going to show you how to use SketchUp today. And uh, just go ahead and click on the little icon right there on your desktop. And it'll pop up something window like this. And let's uh, we, let's choose a template, something that's going to be handy for woodworking. And we do a lot of our measurements just in inches. We don't do feet and in inches, for example, just because we don't nothing that we build is, is big enough to really register in feet. So somewhere down here, right there, product design and woodworking inches. So let's click on that one and that'll that selects our template and we can start using SketchUp. If you forget to do that, you can go up to Window and I think it's under Preferences and you can click on Template there and do the same thing. So anyway, uh, I don't need this instructor here, so I'm going to go ahead and click that off. And first thing you notice here is this, this background kind of colored green or gray and it's got a blue a green and a red axis and that right there is most of you probably know that's our, gonna be our origin we're gonna uh, start drawing things around that you got a toolbar up here on the top that allows you to kinda manipulate things and you can uh, select obviously with the left mouse button you can hold the mouse wheel down and you can orbit which we'll show you in a second um, and then and to move around or you can you know change it to select or you can move it with the hand lots of things you can do okay the, the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna draw our step stool here and so the first thing we're gonna do is we'll draw the top piece and and then we'll draw the legs and then we'll draw the the pieces that connect the legs together and then to the top and we'll kind of just draw them separately and then we'll just place them all together and uh, uh, it's not that hard it's, it just takes a little bit of getting used just like anything just kind of after a while you'll just kind of get used to it so first thing let's go up to tools or is it no it's view excuse me we'll click on toolbars and let's click on the large tool set I like that a little better we'll turn the getting started one off and uh, now we've got a few more buttons up here that we might use some of these we're not going to use but a lot some of them we're going to use quite a bit so Okay, the top of our step stool is a rectangle. And if you just hover your mouse over the buttons across the top, a little pop-up comes up and tells you what it's for. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click select the rectangle tool. And I'm going to kind of zoom in. You could do it right on the origin. It'll kind of snap just like that just did to the origin. Although that's not super important that it's on the origin. But I'll snap and I'll drag it out. Now, I want you to notice that down here in the bottom as I did that, it was telling me how big I was drawing that rectangle right there and that's that's gonna be pretty handy what what also you can do if I'll just I'll undo that real quick um, you can actually tell it how big a rectangle exactly that you want so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the origin there stretch this out and then just with your with your numbers on your keyboard you can specify how big you actually want it so our top for our our step stool is gonna be 10 inches wide and 16 inches long and so how the rectangle is drawn right there you can see the long the long dimension down here is first and so I'm just gonna go in 16 comma 10 and that's telling it to make it 16 inches long 10 inches wide you don't have to put the inch mark it knows all that already so and then just hit enter and that is a rectangle that's 16 by 10 it's not a bad idea at this point just to if you think you did it wrong just to click on the dimension tool that's that little button right there and you can just then just click on any edge you want and yep sure enough look at that that's 16 there and I'll click on this edge and drag it over yep that's 10 so I got it the right size never hurts to check that and I can go back and undo those I don't need those just yet so just undo them then then uh let's go ahead and we're gonna pull this thing up we're gonna make this out of three quarter inch thick material so I'm gonna click on the push pull tool right up there and I'm just gonna click on the top surface and you can pull it up any height you want but we're just gonna go um, three quarters of an inch now if you you can type it in as a fraction three slash four if you're better with decimals you can go 0.75 whatever you want so there's our, our top. That's kind of the blank of wood. And I can rotate around now by I'm holding the, the mouse wheel down right now. You can rotate around. I think if you just have a laptop, you can hold the left mouse button and then you move you can move your finger around to rotate. And you can look at the bottom, you can look all over. Sometimes 
I've had kids, they're too far zoomed out. They're like way, way out, like in outer space. They're like that. And they'll draw something and and they can't even see it or they or it's or you know it, it's uh it's huge it's like 100 feet by 16 feet or something so if you ever get like too zoomed out you can just click on this button right here and it zooms right up to the extents of what you have drawn and it zooms right in just bam so that if you ever get if you're never not sure or you get kind of um you lose your place shall we say you can always just click right there and it'll zoom you right back in we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to make this top a little more visually appealing. We're going to put some curves on it. So let's do this. we got to take some measurements here. And I want to put some measurements on this without actually drawing them on here. So they have this handy tape measure tool right there. And what you can do with that is you can kind of zoom into the corner. And I can hook it on the end right there. And I can drag it out. And what I want to do is I want to drag it out to to one inch. I'll just type in one into that bottom right hand corner where it says length and just enter and you can see it looks like a little ant right there that little tape measure little dot and then if you'd like to you can go ahead and grab a hold of that guide point you'll know that you have the guide point because the it'll snap to it and it'll pop up guide point and I can drag this over and it's another thing about Google Sketch that's kind of neat is that the line right here is all black until I get parallel with the red axis which is way down here this red axis, it snaps, it turns into a red line, and that's telling me that I'm drawing a line parallel to the red axis, which is what I want to do, and I want to measure that in one inch again too. So I'll just type in one, hit enter. So now I've just found a point that basically it's one inch from there and one inch from there. And I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other sides also. I'll click over there, I'll move it, move my drawing, I'll click right there. And then uh, you can just click and then say one, enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on that guide point. It'll say guide point, and I'll bring it in. And I'll wait till it turns green this time. There it is, right there. And that's parallel with that green ax axis. That's that green line you can see right there. It's parallel when I get it to turn green. And I can just type in one again. And you can type in one before you click or after you click. And as you can see now, um, I just I found two spots, one inch in from that corner, basically. I'll do it here. One, and I'll drag it back, and I'll just type in one. I'll do it there, one, and one. Okay, so I found uh, these points. And what I want to do, I want to make this thing, it's going to look kind of like a football. So I'm going to draw some arcs here in a minute, and I'm going to connect points, and those are going to be my connection point that's kind of in the middle of my object here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the arc tool, and I want it to this thing to arc nicely from the center of this edge. So I'm going to go along, and you see where it, I'll just kind of drag it along the edge here, and at some point it finds the midpoint, and it kind of snaps to it, and you can see where it just said that midpoint. So I'll go ahead and click right there. I want to start my arc there. I want to finish my arc on that guide point and it snaps right to that. Then I want to give it like a little like a, a bulge right there but I don't want it to see how it will come off of my workpiece. I don't want that. I want it to stay on my workpiece. I don't want, I don't know if you can see that little area right over here where it pops off. I don't want that. I want it to stay right on. So let's just give it, I don't know if you can see down here at the right bottom right there it says bulge. Let's just give it a quarter inch bulge. So you can just go 1 slash 4 or 0.25 if you'd like. And that just pulled that out. Nice little smooth arc, quarter inch. And we'll do the same thing for all the different sides. I'll come over here. Guide point. I'll click there and I'll just I'll push it out and I'll just go 1 slash 4 quarter inch. And from the center point, again, it has changed to where it says end point. That's okay. It's the end point now. It was the center point, but now it's the end of that arc. So that's all right. It's still at the center. And I'll go to the guide point. I'll kind of push it out the way I want it to go and just say 1 slash 4. And I can do the same here. It's the end of my line right there. And I can click right on that guide point, And I can just go 1 slash 4 or 0.25. There you go. 
I want to do again I want to create an arc right here to connect those so just like you think I'd go to the midpoint click on the endpoint push it out and I want to make sure I'm laying it I don't want it like standing up straight you can do that too I want to make sure it's laying flat okay and I want to do that a quarter inch bulge so one slash four and now I'll have the end point there and I think so from right there I'll just push it out quarter inch from right there I'll find the center point I'll push this out quarter inch and last but not least right there there we go and I've got my um, basic overall shape okay before I cut all this stuff right here away and push it away I'm gonna go ahead and find the center of this thing I want to find the middle I gotta put a hole in the middle of this guy for a handle so what I'm gonna do is find the center that's again pretty easy I'm just gonna actually some draw some lines for that and then I'll erase them later on so I think I should be able to find the end point there should be the middle you can go straight across notice that the line is green it's telling me I'm going parallel to the green axis and then this side I can find the endpoints right there and go this way and the line should be red and then I've got that's the exact center right there so we're gonna put a hole in this guy uh, we're gonna do a one inch hole and it's gonna be elongated it's gonna be four inches long so I'm gonna take my tape measure tool and I'm gonna drag from the center out two inches so there's my little spot right there. I don't know if you can see that. And I'll do it again on this side. I'll drag out with the tape measure tool. I'll just type in two inches. And I've got a spot there. What I'm going to do is put a circle at that location. So I'll click on the circle tool. And I'll just, I can zoom in and I can snap it right to that guide point. And I'll pull it out. And I'll tell it how big of a circle I want. What I want is it to be a half inch radius and it as you can tell down here at the bottom in the right it says half inch or it tells you how big the radius is and I can just put in half inch or 0.5 just like that and then I'm gonna slide over and do the same right there from the center point I'll just go 0.5 and then uh, so I've got my two outside I get my ends basically of the hole. I'm going to cut the rest of this out. So I'm going to take up my line and I'm going to draw a line from right here on the green axis. I got to get it to turn green though on the edge. So it turns, it turns green. It says midpoint. Definitely want that. Pull that across. It's got to be green. Make sure it stays green like that. That tells you it's on the edge of the circle and it's parallel with the green axis and then I'm going to go ahead and slide over to the other circle draw another couple lines so on the guide point I'm going to make sure that it says on edge and it's green and again from the end point of that line I'm going to make sure this one's green and it also is on the edge and now what I can do is take my eraser tool and I can erase that line and that line, I can erase that one, I can erase that one. I'm going to go ahead and move over so I can see what I'm doing better over here. And I'm going to click on the eraser again. I won't need that or that or that. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to connect the ends. So I'll just take my pencil. Right there, I'll connect that end. And I'll come over here and I'll connect that end to that end right there. And I can go back and erase all these extra lines that I don't really need. But I'd, that's why I had, I had to kind of lay out all the parts with these layout lines. But that's all right, I can go back and erase them. Don't need that guy, I need that, need that, get rid of that. And I can actually, if I want to now, I can go up to edit and I can say delete my guides. Don't need those anymore, I don't think. So I can get rid of all those guides. All those guides everywhere disappeared. And now if everything went well, 
you can go ahead and we can push these away. So what you do is click on the push pull tool and I can just take this and I can just push it down and I can actually it'll say offset limited to three quarter. I can click now or you could just say three quarter three slash four and it tells it to go away all the way down to where it started you know at, at the very bottom at the bottom plane um, or you can just go like um, this is not going to do, I got to do 0.75 there we go push that one away 0.75 or 3 slash 4 3 quarter works too I'll do that real quick 3 fourths and then I'm going to do one last one I'll push this one down I want to go down 0.75 and there we go and if I did everything right this thing should not be hollow it should should be one complete board uh, if you've got hollow like this part like you can like see into that like if you goofed up somewhere it just means you didn't collect connect one of your lines to the end point or something or you didn't connect it to the midpoint or these didn't quite get connected correctly there's like a gap or something that will that will cause some problems uh, if you just if you goofed up just go back and try it again it wasn't that many steps just go back and try it again you'll get better as you go but that's our top to our step stool right there for the most part so I'm going to go ahead and file and I'll save that and I'll save it as step stool top so I don't lose it I'll save it in this case to the desktop save 